I'm just going to ask you a few questions and just answer whatever you're comfortable answering. Don't go any further than you feel like going. And if you want to add something later on to a question I've asked you, that's fine too. Okay. Okay. Cool. When was the first time you saw it? You know, it was sort of like an accidental thing. There was like a mirror on the floor, and I walked out, and I was like, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go home and do some research. I didn't look at myself till probably in college. I don't even say the word to my uh, OBGYN. And I'm like, going to the library, I'm like sneaking in the library, looking through the books, and you know, you're like, I'm covering the book with like something else. And, I'm like, and then it's like, admire it. It's a beautiful flower. You know, it's like roses. I'm like... We're not looking at the same thing, you know? I took photos of it. You I took photos? I had a Polaroid camera, and I would go into the bathroom and um, take a picture. Are you embarrassed? Yes. <laughs> All those things are kind of like secret, you know? And it's not for, you know, it's like your own little joy. I realized there was no context in which women ever talk about their vaginas. So I just started casually saying to friends of mine, what do you think about your vagina? What do you think? And over the course of about three to five years, I had interviewed over 200 women. How does it feel to be talking about it? <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> I think it's, a, it's, it's liberating, but it's kind of funny, too. <laughs> Anxious, kind of nervous, um, not really sure what, what I'm going to say. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be, like, uncomfortable, but it's not, because you, you make it kind of easy. And everything every woman said was more surprising, outrageous, disturbing, exciting than the next. And one woman would say to me, oh, you really need to talk to so-and-so about her vagina. She has an amazing story. And she would say, no, you need to talk to so-and-so about her vagina. She has... And before I knew it, I was really sucked down this vagina trail, and I couldn't get back. And um, I've been on the trail for a long time, and I don't think I'm getting off it anytime soon. Everything on the wall, all of these were, were gifts or photographs or things that have found me or, and I have been given to me as I've traveled around the world. Well, first I'd like to introduce Vagina Barbie, complete with duck lips, a lovely vagina candle. This salad here, that's a vagina salad. This is the vulva puppet. They actually talk. There's a whole world of vagina life out there, which I find thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> so when the show was first done downtown, um, guys would call up and say, can I have tickets to the vagina dialogues? Yeah. And women would call up and say, can I have tickets to the monologues? I've heard people call it the Viagra Chronicles. <laughs> no. Yeah. And there was this punk ticket taker, and she would say, listen, if you can't say the name, you can't come. Now try again. <laughs> try again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're worried. I was worried. That's why I began this piece. I was worried about vaginas. <laughs> I was worried what we think about vaginas, and I was even more worried that we don't think about them. I was worried about my own vagina. It needed a context, a community, a culture of other vaginas. There is so much darkness and secrecy surrounding them. Like the Bermuda Triangle, nobody ever reports back from there. <laughs> In the first place, it's not so easy to even find your vagina. Women go days, weeks, months without looking at it. I interviewed a high-powered businesswoman. She told me she didn't have time. <laughs> Looking at your vagina, she said, is a full day's work. <laughs> You've got to get down there, on your back, in front of a mirror, full length preferred. You've got to get in the perfect position with the perfect light, which then becomes shadowed by the angle you're at. You're twisting your head up, 
arching your back, it's exhausting. <laughs> she was busy. She didn't have time. So I decided to talk to women about their vaginas. They began as casual vagina interviews, and they turned into vagina monologues. <laughs> I talked with over 200 women. I talked to younger women, older women, married women, lesbians, single women. I talked to college professors, corporate professionals, actors, sex workers. I talked to African American women, Asian American women, Hispanic women, Native American women, Caucasian women, Jewish women. <laughs> At first, women were a little shy, a little reluctant to talk. But once they got going, you couldn't stop them. <laughs> women love to talk about their vaginas. They do. They really do. Mainly because no one's ever asked them before. <laughs> Let's just start with the word vagina. Vagina. It sounds like an infection at best. Maybe a medical instrument. Hurry, nurse, bring me the vagina. Vagina. <laughs> vagina. It doesn't matter how many times you say the word, it never sounds like a word you want to say. It's a completely ridiculous, totally unsexy word. If you use it during sex, trying to be politically correct, you kill the act right there. I'm worried what we call it and don't call it. In Great Neck, New York, they call it a pussycat. A woman told me there, her mother used to tell her, don't wear panties, dear. Underneath your pajamas, you need to air out your pussycat. <laughs> In Westchester, they call it a pookie. In New Jersey, a twat. There's powder box, a poochie, a poopy, a peepee, a poopaloo, a poony nana, and a peach. There's Toady, Dee Dee, Nishi, Dignity, Coochie Snorcher, Cooter, Labby, Gladys Siegelman, Va, Wee Wee, Horse Spot, Nappy Dugout, Mongo, Monkey Box, Pajama, Fanny Boo, Mushmallow, Ghoulie, Possible, Tamale, Totita, Connie, a Mimi in Miami, a split Kanish in Philadelphia, and a Schmendi in the Bronx. I am worried about vaginas. Vagina graduate. This is Steve. This is Steve. Steve just graduated from UVS. That's the University of Vaginal Sciences. The most vagina friendly guy in his class, okay? Got the job. Yeah.